Hello guys and welcome back, Nandi here. So today we have an unboxing video. Uh, I believe these are some uh, foreign banknotes, but I can't remember if are some random mixed foreign banknotes or are some exclusivities for my collection. Either way, I will, uh, I will keep some of them for my collection and uh, the rest will go back to eBay. Uh, because I'm mainly a eBay uh, reseller, I'm not a big collector, so this is the way I uh, I collect the modest way, not to, uh, not uh, too expensive for me. So let's see what we have. If the, these banknotes are exclusivities, because I uh, often will purchase some. Uh, some banknotes exclusively for my uh, collection because most of the time I will uh, I will uh, purchase banknotes that uh, let me see that are, uh, are some random foreign banknotes let's see now I think this is from England oh wow I think this is uh, now I, I remember you see here the beauties Albanian beauties now I remember this uh, auction that I won in fact uh, those were two auctions the seller uh, have uh, combined the shipping so two different auctions if I remember correctly Albanian and Belgium from Belgium so let's start so most of these banknotes will go to my uh, to my collection, especially the Albanian ones, in very very beautiful and crispy condition, and not uncirculated, but in a very very good condition. Uh, this is the series 1976. Uh, is the same uh, design, only the year is changed from the. Um, from the new leg of 1960, uh, 1965, and the direction of new leg uh, without one zero, they dropped uh, one zero. So uh, monetary reform at that year. But the first series ha has the date 1964, not 1965. Well, yeah. And uh, the back, this is the 10 lakh. Don't forget, uh, guys, if you get, uh, if you purchase uh, Albanian banknotes or if you have uh, Albanian banknotes and you will showcase them in your uh, YouTube videos, uh, in singular and plural, you say lakh without the e. Not leki, not leke, just lakh. One or ten on one million, you just, uh, you pronounce lakh. It pronounced like uh, we put the the uh sound here because only in the writing form. But when you are talking to, to someone or explaining stuff, you just say lack. Singular and plural. It's uh, is the same. So one ten lack, another one. Oh, I think these are uh, both. From the same bundle, 79, 79, 15, 79, 79, 16. That's nice. The beautiful 5 lakh. Again, from the same year, 1976. Please check out, guys, the, my video here of. Uh, uh, my explanation or showcasing my uh, collection from uh, this time period uh, the first series 1964 uh, on this series and uh, the respective coins and commemorative coins from this time of period check out the video you will enjoy it I'm, I'm sure you will enjoy it so yeah here we see this is a uh, uh, this is a merchant sh uh, ship, uh, Albanian. This is of uh, the port of Duros or Duracium in English, in Latin. I'm sorry. And this is the we have the three leg. So 
So basically, these are the the smallest denomination banknotes from uh, this series. This is in uh, circulated condition. Really beautiful, the one lakh. Very, very beautiful. So basically, this uh, this Albanian banknotes will go to my uh, to my collection. And we have, oh, we have another one, one lakh. I will keep them. And here we see a three leg. This is my favorite banknote of all time. And I'm very biased here. Uh, not even from Albania, but from uh, anything in the world. This is, I have very emotional uh, connection with this uh, banknote as, uh, as a kid. So, long story short, this is my favorite banknote of all time. The three leg, either 1964 or 1976. Uh, I don't know about this because uh, this is not in the in that uh, good condition that I wanted for my collection. So maybe I will uh, I will uh, throw it in some uh, foreign banknotes on eBay. So check out. Don't forget check out my uh, my website nandecollector.com for available banknotes. At the time uh, recording this video, this banknote uh, was uh, uh, in my, on my website, so yeah, back to eBay. So now we have now we have some uh, Belgian francs from different time periods. Uh, I wanted this. I wanted to to win this auction because I don't have some of these uh, banknotes, not the. Uh, not these modern ones, but the older ones. So we have uh, these 20 francs from 1964. Here we see King of the King of Belgium. I can't remember his name. And the famous Atomium in Brussels. Back to eBay. Uh, this was on, the, on uh, one of the banknotes that uh, I wanted to... So let's get rid of this modern one. So basically this banknote, this banknotes will go back to eBay. Now let's see, we have five francs from... Um, what year is it? 1940? I think these are from the 40s, 30s. Uh, I can't remember, they don't have a date here. Oh, here we have 43. And uh, don't forget guys, uh, Belgium is a bilingual country, that means that you will have uh, uh, two different language. Here we have the uh, the Dutch V franc, and here we have the French Cinq francs. Everything here is in French. Everything here is in Dutch. Uh, so I maybe will keep this banknote. I can't remember if I have this banknote in my collection, but well, another one. Back to eBay. Here we have a really nasty banknote. I have this banknote, to be honest. I remember to have this banknote. Uh, let's see what year. 19... 1941. King and the Queen. Back to eBay. This is uh, in a very good condition, 10 franc from the same time period. Uh, let's see, 1943. I will keep this banknote, another one from 50, uh, 41. 
not in the best condition, but hey, eBay is the right place to to sell them. And this was the banger that I really wanted from this uh, from this auction. Uh, this 20, 20 francs, it's in a better condition. I will check my collection, my Belgian collection, if I have this banknote. If not, this is a nice condition. You know, I don't collect fancy or expensive banknotes, whatever I get from this lot. So it's fine for me. My focus in on is on reselling on eBay, so on my business. Not, uh, but of course I will keep some of them. So I will keep for the moment this banknote. And this was the beauty that I really wanted to have. 100 francs. I don't have this, and this banknote in this condition is uh, it's perfect for me. It's really perfect. I don't know the price, I didn't check the price for, for these banknotes, but I'm sorry for the noise guys, now now I understood why, why it was uh, this big noise was my fridge, now it stopped, sorry, uh, yes, we have here 20 francs or 20 100 francs or 20 belgas it's the same here we see uh, this is the french saint francs yes this is the french writing this is the dutch very very beautiful banknotes excuse it uh, excuse it ah me and my very very poor English vocabulary. Excuse it. Yes, now it's better. Well, I think. So yeah, guys, this was my uh, the main reason I wanted to uh, to purchase the uh, to, to win this auction. And we have the same here, but well, you see the difference. Well. back to eBay we, you will be surprised how many people buy uh, damaged banknotes on, on eBay I'm one of them I am one of them sometimes I have bought uh, I've purchased uh, almost all the banknotes from an auction almost all of them were damaged but hey I mix them with other uh, banknotes in, in much better condition, so yeah. Check out my website guys, nandicollector.com, you will find there uh, plenty of uh, banknotes in a really, really good condition, because of course this uh, kind of, this kind of banknote is only a few percent of my, uh, what I sell on eBay, so of course I will not sell uh, trash. Check my eBay or check my website because in my uh, in my uh, website I have put there my uh, eBay uh, eBay store uh, foreign banknotes that are available. Uh, you have the link in the video description. So let's see what we have today. So we have these four for my collection. We have these banknotes. I will uh, mix them with other. Uh, in a fine condition banknotes and sell them on eBay and of course I will keep all of these beauties from Albania very nice very, uh, I really like these banknotes I think I have bought both of them for $15 if I if I remember correctly 15 or $16 US dollars so for me it's a, it's a good price to have uh, to have something to resell and to have uh, plenty to collect. Anyway, guys, check out my link nandicollector.com. The link is in the video description for uh, if you want to, to to buy from me from uh, my eBay store. Check out the link nandicollector.com. If you like the video, guys, please give the video a thumbs up 
and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing you will find plenty of unboxing videos uh, the unboxing videos are uh, are your favorite videos and for me are the most expensive to do <laughs> because obviously I, I, I'm spending money of course but yeah I'm just joking guys but sometimes I, I do I do buy some expensive stuff exclusively for my uh, collection Again, guys, thank you, thank you very much for your support, for your uh, kind words, for your comments, uh, everything. Uh, the few last months, two or three months have been amazing. Uh, your feedback is it's unbelievable. Thank you very much, guys. Again, uh, give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Plenty of videos of my unboxing and plenty of videos of my modest collection. Check out the playlists of those uh, collections. Again, okay, guys, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.